What is up guys? Before we start today's video, I just want to let you know that this is the very last video I'm going to make with the CAD U37 microphone. I'm getting a brand new audio setup including a Blue Yeti with a shock mount. I'm using the same pop filter and I'm also going to get an arm that I can just kind of raise and lower in front of my face whenever I need it instead of taking up desk space. Uh, it should end up sounding a lot better, so just let me know what you guys think when the new video comes out. Use this as kind of a comparison base point. Anyways, I want to get talking about the NX news again. The actual news, not, you know, rumors that everyone thinks is news. What we know now is that the Nintendo NX is going to have a March 2017 release, and that Zelda... I'm just about to call it Zelda Wii U, it's... I'm just going to call it uh, the new Zelda. We know that's going to be a launch title, and it's going to get a dual release on the Wii U and the NX. Now, we don't know what the NX is, so I'm not going to talk about what the game could possibly be on the NX, what kind of improvements, or if it's like if it's a handheld, what kind of cutbacks, or what they're doing. I don't know. But, I see a lot of people complaining, a lot of people freaking out, whether it just be regular people or news sites, saying, Nintendo, you're, you're stupid, you're releasing the NX after the holiday season. That's a dumb idea, and you know, you're, and you're, that's, it's not gonna work, you're gonna fail. Uh, no. Nintendo's actually gonna be fine if they release it in March. Uh, Dr. Tree 81 actually brought this up, but both the 3DS and the PS2 were both released in the spring, and first of all, the PS2 is the most successful game console of all time, and the 3DS isn't doing, doing so bad for itself either. Okay, so the NX gets a March release, it skips holiday 2016. It's not like it's skipping all holidays, just holiday 2016. Uh, what does that mean for the sales? Uh, not much. Consoles don't see a huge boost in sales during the holiday season. Not a significant boost during the holiday season. Because, first of all, people are buying other types of gifts, not just console hardware. And people need to focus their money on other things, too, so it kind of balances out. We'll see more sales, obviously, but it's not a huge jump. It's not like everybody's going out and buying new console hardware during the holidays. But what does a March release mean? What does that coincide with? Well, it coincides with tax return season, which means that, one, the system's not getting released in a time period where everyone's buying other stuff for people, and two, it's the time of the year in the U.S. where people have the most disposable income. They're gonna have their tax returns coming back, this is another time period where we actually do see raises in hardware sales. So I feel like the Nintendo NX being released in March, and then having, having like some good launch games such as Zelda is actually going to be a huge help. I think that with people having tax returns, they'll have enough to afford a system and whatever games they want to get when it comes out, and that's actually a really good idea. And then when the holiday comes up of holiday 2017, we'll have even more games, and uh, and the system, and people will be willing to buy those more, even more games to choose from during the holidays. That's a good idea. Nintendo actually cut back their manufacturing the, of the Wii U to 800,000 units. That's like... I, I, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that's about a third of what it's at right now. I don't have the numbers in front of me. But that's a pretty huge cut. And the reason they're doing this is because Tatsumi Kimishima said that they're expecting the NX to completely take over the Wii U by the time that comes around. And that's pretty much our way of knowing that the Wii U is going to just be phased out relatively quickly, just like how the Wii and GameCube were when they came out. Nintendo's not really known for supporting their dead systems for a very long time, and the Wii U is in a unique spot where it's dead before it's even replaced by a new console. And that's kind of sad. But, it's not all doom and gloom. We don't have to worry about the March release ruining anything. I think it's going to be a good thing. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you like this video a lot, shoot it a like. If you've watched multiple videos of mine or you really, really like this one, give me a subscribe. That helps me out a lot and you'll get plenty more content like this to come.